Hi friends, good morning. In this video, let's me talk about MT942 Interim Transaction Report. Before going to this video, I have provided the Payment Business Analyst training for student and corporate people. In case you would like to join the course, please approach for me Tamil Business Tech News at the rate of gmail.com. Let's me discuss about MT942 Interim Transaction Report. What are the content should be available in my PPT? Purpose of the message, scope of the message, simple example flow, field details, and sample example message. These are the details should be available in my PPT. What is MT942 Interim Transaction Report? Whenever the account holder can able to get the transaction report for hourly basic. Suppose within the day, the account holder get the transaction report for five times per day, six times per day day the consecutive time interval that report we called as a MT942 interim transaction report within a day the report should be generated based on the hourly basic what is the purpose of MT942 report should be generated in this report the customer can able to see that account balance for each and every period of time within a day they can able to see that how much balance should be available for the, their particular account so that report should be generated for the hourly basic based on the customer and the bank configuration. Already I said that that report should be generated for the each day five times, each day six times or each day seven times, uh, one hour once or two hour once or three hours once based on the account owner and the accounting institution conditions. Okay, suppose the account owner should be communicate for the accounting institution, their own account holding institution informed to the I need for MT942 report within a two hours. This on the time what they happen, the accounting institution send the MT942 report to accounting holder for each and every two hours for the day. Why? What purpose they are using for the interior transaction report? Because based on the interior transaction report, they can able to see their current balance certain period of time. Okay, within a day, how the expenses should be happen for the particular account? What are the credit should be happen for the particular account? They can able to understand the live balance and uh, uh, live transaction details okay, within a hour. So the reason the MT942 interim transaction report should be generated for the account holder side. It's MT942 interim statement should be talk about incremental transaction details okay, because morning 9 to 10 if you done one transaction, that report should be generated for the 11 o'clock. After 11 to 12 you done one transaction that should report should be generated for the one o'clock so you can able to understand account holder account holder can able to understand each and every hours what are the transactions should be done from their own account so this this report we called as a incremental transaction details report mt942 transaction report should be generated for the multiple times for the day already said that it should it should be generated for the hourly basic so it should be generated for the multiple times for the day what is the scope of the MT942 transaction? Okay, you are from the account holder, you holding the account with account, accounting institution. Based on the accounting institution, you do the transaction that should be sent for the final beneficiary. Okay, this is for the overall transaction. Okay, each and every time the account holder need to get the MT942 transaction hourly basic. Okay, what are the parties should be involved? Accounting service institution send the report to any kind of concentrating institution okay concentrating institution i will explain the concept later upcoming slides next accounting service institution they send the report to financial institution to account owner accounting service institution send the report to the financial institution financial institution transfer the report to the accounting owner or else accounting service institution send the report to any kind of non-financial institution or non-financial institution transfer the report to the account owner when these scenarios should be occurred support the accounting service institution should send any kind of uh, uh, stock market institution okay um, any kind of third party stock market institution or non financial institution the non financial institution send the report to the account owner next concentrating institution send the report to non financial institution and non financial institution send the report to account owner another one in this report you can able to see that summary of your debit and credit okay what debit should be happen for the particular account holder account what credit should be happen for the particular account holder account you can able to see that debit and credit entries okay in the interim statement report we called as a loss loss 
statement or balanced report okay once the entity statement report should be generated for the day by day that report we called as a loss loss statement of the balance because it shows that lost balance okay how much fund should be available for the particular account holder account what are the transactions should be done for the particular day how much debit should be happen for the particular account holder account how much credit should be happen for the particular account holder account all the details you can able to see that mt942 statement this mt942 statement we called as a unstructured format okay because why i am say that are, this is for the unstructured format based on the customer preference we can able to include the field details debit number credit number debit or details credit or details debit uh, indicator credit indicator how much amount should be debited how much amount should be credited all are the customized field based on the account holder requirement okay suppose the account holder informed to me i need 10 field for my report the bank should be generated for the 10 field another account holder informed to me i need a 12 field for the particular report the bank should be generated for the 12 field for the particular account holder report because it should be customized report next how the transaction flow should be happen two kind of flow is there one is a direct banking relationship another one is an indirect banking relationship direct banking relationship nothing is bad nothing is there we know governments need to send the money to 15k AD to double textiles what they happen in this scenario we know governments have a tie up with the sb india this is for the account holder bank account with institution account with institution transfer the money to receiver bank city and the city bank should be credited to the raw gold account this is the direct banking relationship because sb india and the city bank they have a nastro vastro account relationship so that reason fund should be transferred further directly in this scenario how the account holder we know get the mt 942 report because account is a account service institution in this sb india should be generate the report to that we know based on the credit and debit entry happen for the city bank this was the direct relationship in case indirect relationship what is the indirect relationship indirect relationship means nothing is there many parties should be involved for the particular transaction ordering customer they don't have a direct relationship with the receiver bank on the time what they happen the sender correspondent receiver correspondent account with institution and intermediary many parties should be involved the, involved for the particular transaction same scenario we know need to send the 15k AD to rahul uh, rahul hold the account in city bank uae we know hold the account in sb india in this scenario, SB India and the City Bank UAE, they don't have a direct relationship. What they happen? SB India approach for the sender correspondent ICS Bank India. ICS Bank India approach for the receiver correspondent FAB. And the FAB should be transferred the money to City Bank UAE. This is for the general flow. What they happen? We know send the money to raw gold account, receiver bank. Okay. We don't need to understand whether that particular transaction debit entry happened for particular account or not. They need for the account statement. On the time, what they happen? Ordering institution account with institution 52 a sb india should be generate the report for we know this much account debit should be happen for your account this much account credit should be happen for your account based on the credit entry credit and debit entry happen from the city bank in this scenario only for the debit we, we should be talk about so debit entry should be show for the um we know report the 15k ad equal amount of inr how much rupees is that that amount should be debit in your particular account it should be reflected this interim statement report what is a concentrating institution? Okay, I will tell that I will explain the concept of concentrating institution. Concentrating institution, nothing is there. Customer, they have allocated authorized financial institution. Suppose the customer A from India, they inform they allocate for that SB India for the concentrating institution because of he do many foreign transactions. Okay, particular customer, we know governments do many foreign transactions for the different different countries uae us and uh, um, uk and uh, uh, russia or many other countries okay on the time what they happen these are all the foreign banks to be the accounting statement to the concentrating institution sb india that is a local bank because the vino government should tie up, tie up with the local bank okay the all the foreign banks should be sent the report to the concentrating institution sb india SB India collect, collateral the report and send to the Vino government because Vino government should be tied up with the local bank SB India. What are the transactions should be done from this foreign bank? You collateral for all the transaction and send to me for one single report. So that so the purpose there is for the concentrating institution. Next we will discuss about the field details. What are the fields should be available for that MT 942 message? 
whenever the status should be mentioned as a M means that is a mandatory field. Whenever the status should be mentioned as a O means that is a optional field. First, 20 transaction reference number. Whenever the customer should be initiate the transaction, the 60 digit transaction number should be generated. Related reference number. Related reference number means nothing is there. That is the one financial institution to another financial institution. They are using for the related reference number. Otherwise, sometimes they are using a 20 transaction reference number also related reference number. Mandatory field 25A account identification. This field should be talking about uh, accounting, accounting institution big okay. Which institution should be initiate the transaction? Account holder holding the account with which institution? That is the account identification. Next state mandatory field 28C statement number and sequence number. Statement number should be talk about um, what are the transactions should be initiated for the particular day. Sequence number it should be come for 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. Next mandatory field 34F credit and debit and credit and debit floor limit indicator. The debit indicator should be talked about how much debit should be happened for the particular account and the credit optional field 34F credit floor limit indicator. This field should be talked about for the credit limit happen for the particular account. Next date and time indication mandatory field 13 D date and time indication. This field should be talked about when the report should be generated, what time the report should be generated, that should be talked about for the date and time indication. Optional field O61 statement line. Statement line should be combined for the many values, value date, transaction effective date, entry date, transaction book date, debit and credit marks, funds code, amount detail, transaction type, what kind of transaction should be initiated, whether it's a SIP transaction or non-SIP transaction or financial transaction. And uh, a transaction for the account owner. What are the transaction reference number? Same like that, whether it's a credit card transaction or check transaction or bill of exchange. That kind of information also you can able to see that statement line. And uh, reference of the accounting service institution. It should be talked about for the reference number, uh, transaction reference number or the uh, um, uh, 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 normal reference number. It should be talked about that field and supplementary details like that. These all the fields should be available for the statement lines and uh, account inform optional field 86 information to account owner. This field should be talk about extra information for the particular account owner. Next slide, it's, it's come for the optional field 19D number and sum of entries. What is talk about the 19D? This 19D field should be talk about how many entries should be happen for the debit side. So the reason it should be indicated for the 19D. D is a debit entry indicator. How many entries should be happen for the total number of entry happen for the debit side. That should be talk about 19D. That field is an optional field. And another one is a 19C is the, that should be talk about how many entries should be happen for the credit side for the particular account holder and information to account holder. It should be talk about the extra information. So, okay. Already I said that why the MT942 is a customized field. What are the fields should be mandatory? That field need to be reflect correctly in the report. What are the fields should be optional? Whether the customer is required for the particular field, it should be changed as a mandatory. Otherwise, Customer, it's not record for the particular field. We remove that particular field in the report. So the reason I will tell that MT942 is a customized report. Next, already I mentioned that some of the character from here, 18, 16x, 16x, 5n, 5n like that. What is the character? It should be talk about. N means digit only. A means alphabetic letter uppercase. What are the uppercases there? On the time they mention as a A. C means Alphabetic letter uppercase and digit and X means any character for the permitted character of set of uppercase and lowercase. D means number and comma, decimal comma and like that. And uh, exclamatory mark means it's 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 indicate for the how field length of the particular field how many digits should be accepted. It should be uh, explained for the field length. So the reason I will provide the example from here. Next, if you see that sample message. Everybody is now that this is a shift blocker 
application basic header block application header block text block trailer block and supplementary block okay uh, in this field all should be talked about for that text block field 20 transaction reference number field 21 related reference number and field 25 it's a account identifier and 13f um, creditor uh, debitor limit 34f uh, creditor limit 13d when the report should be generated statement line and sequence line and uh, uh, debit entry details and credit entry details the message look like for this format only thanks for watching this video kindly subscribe this channel if you have any doubt please raise the query in command section